Okay, so we're just going to go through a few more options for sectioning. Uh, so just a basic section, just to remind you, click the view, we've selected section, we want to find the midpoint and hover away from it, making sure we've got the dotted line, and then we can come across horizontally or vertically, click again, right click and continue, and that gives us the full section. Remembering we can um, edit these labels by right clicking and editing the label. Um, this one here will do a quarter section view, so select the view, go section. This time we're going to pick up the midpoint again, but rather than going right through, I'm going to stop at the center. I'm going to click and I'm going to come down and click again here. If I now go right click and continue, you can see I've got a quarter, uh, a quarter section there. Just at that point, one thing to note here where it says projected or aligned. We want the projected, which means it's the view that you'd get just by looking um, from the point where my cursor is. So you're just going to see this part here that is not sectioned and that face that is sectioned. If you do the aligned one, what it does is it actually um, stretches out those two views, um, which is not what we want. So we want the projected view. So I'm just going to go down here and say, OK, so we are, so you can see, we've just got one half as, as per normal and then one half that is sectioned. Um, another option, a step section. So here, maybe if I went through the center of these, the, this hole, so let's come through here, through the hole, down to the center, through there and then maybe through the hole as well. So you can use these things to pick up um, so that it is actually going through the middle of things and again there we've got an option to have projected which is what we want or an aligned would essentially straighten out so you'd see that face and that face and that face. So keep it at projected and there you can see we've got a section line that goes through each of those points. Obviously these drawings have not got annotations, scent lines and so forth, that, that's up to you to do. Uh, last option here, uh, I want to do something called a breakout view. So on this view here, I just want to go so that I can see the detail of that hole. So I, it's like a kind of cutaway view just of a part of this. So in order to do that, we've got to draw actually draw a sketch on the, 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 the view. Must select the view first, then you go new sketch. I tend to use a spline tool just to do a little sort of wiggly space around where I want it to be. Um, if you do that, you can um, oh, I've messed that up. Try again. Uh, a little wiggly line. You can do a box. Doesn't matter what you do, really. Just trying to get to the beginning. There we go. Um, you can edit these points as well. So I just want to make sure I'm dragged over a bit of this area. Finish the sketch. Go to breakout. Uh, select the view. So it's automatically picking up this sketch as being the, the, the boundary. So that's the bit it's going to use to kind of um, burrow into the part. Depth we want to say from a point, so I'm going to pick up the midpoint here um, on the on this front line, and I've worked out actually that 30 is where I want it to be for it to go through the hole. Um, so you can see it's just taken a chunk out, like a bite out, so we can now see the middle of that hole. If you want to edit it, you can come and find it over here, right click, edit breakout, um, and you could change this number um, if you needed to. So we've got a simple through section a quarter section, a step section and we've got a breakout view as well.